This video demonstrates a new type of lid grasping forceps which I have designed specifically to simplify the placement of lid margin traction sutures within tarsal plate. I have no financial interest in this instrument. My Bowman line traction sutures are superior to grey line sutures with bolsters. They not only hold better but are more comfortable for the patient and last longer. My Bowman line suture tarsography is superior to temporary surgical tarsography as it is quick and easy to perform, holds for several weeks and is completely reversible by simply removing the suture. The strength of the traction suture is proportional to the length of the tarsal plate bite. Suture placement is facilitated by holding the lid flat. This can be difficult with standard forceps such as Adson's as seen here. The new tarsal forceps shown here have been specially designed to grasp the eyelid securely and atraumatically while averting the lid margin. They hold the lid flat and provide an unimpeded view of its margin. The lid is grasped so that its margin is just proud of the forceps. As it is averted, a good view of the margin is obtained. The squeezing by the forceps causes mybomian secretions to egress, revealing the mybomian line. Enter the mybomian orifice line as perpendicularly as possible with a non-cutting needle to achieve a long bite of at least 10 mm. Advance the needle tip until it again exits the lid margin. Should it not come out of the mybomian line, partially withdraw the needle and re-advance in a slightly better direction. With these new forceps, tarsal traction suture placement is as simple as that. A second bite with the same suture in the opposing lid margin creates a strong suture tarsorophy, which can hold for several weeks. This renders temporary surgical tarsorophy obsolete. To summarise, tarsal forceps make the accurate placement of sutures within the tarsal plate easy by atraumatically holding the lid margin flat while the suture is inserted. They are ideal for use in ophthalmic urgent care departments when prompt corneal protection is required. They can be similarly useful in ophthalmic, maxillofacial or neurosurgical theatres when protective eyelid closure is needed.